So today's video is we're gonna do my September favorites. Love doing spirits videos because that way you can kind of see what all the products that I've actually loved for the past months. So you're gonna see a lot of new brushes, you're gonna see a lot of new makeup in my upcoming like, future favorites videos and I'm really, really, really excited for that. Also, if you guys are new to my channel, I would love for you guys to go down below with the Skype button. And make sure you guys also don't forget to ring that bell. So that way you guys get notified every time I post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Also, let me know in the comment section down below what other new videos you want to see. Because I would love to know what other new videos. If you guys want to do more SMR videos, let me know like what SMR videos you want to do. I could definitely do it because I love doing one of the, I really want to do more role, I really want to start doing role plays on my channel. If you guys want me to do role play thing, let me know and I could definitely do it. Without further ado, let's just go ahead and get started. Okay guys, first thing is always in my first videos are my brushes. Always my favorite brushes because I can't live without these. I always clean them. Ever since, like, when I first got these, I cleaned them. And a lot of few years ago, I literally cleaned all my brushes because now I can kind of, it doesn't get all messy and everything because I don't want my brushes to be all dirty because that way I can have fresh new brushes. When I clean them, I really clean them. Like, whenever I got new brushes in my box charm or Ipsy, and I always clean them, like, all the stuff out, and then I just put them in my collection. So, if you guys ever want me to do a video of organizing my makeup again in the future, I could definitely do that because I want to do like a part one, part two. It just depends like how much makeup I get. If you want to see that? Let me know in the comments down below. So first thing I have is my Active Sun Power Brush. This one is already kind of breaking a little bit. Like this one is like, it's not too bad. I'm like these kind of brushes always, my other brushes always keep falling off. If you guys ever see more power brushes in my bust term, then I'll, I'll definitely buy more of these on Amazon. And the other one I absolutely love is my e.l.f. angle blush brush. You're gonna want, it's like a curb kind of brush. It's it, like I just tap it like this because if you have like a power brush or if you guys have a pigmented kind of blush, I usually, you have to like kind of tap it and then just kind of like dab it and everything. If you guys have not seen the video, I did, I don't know how long ago it was, you know, where I used the lipstick of the TikTok hack and then I just like put that on my face and then I just like blend it in and then I just use my powder or blush, something like that, like on top of it, so I can kind of make it even. I love this brush, and I'm really excited to get more e.l.f. brushes because their brushes are so good. These ones, I can't live without. This one is the Sugar Rush from Tarte, and this one is a concealer brush I use. Love it, because I just put my concealer on my little thingy and now I can kind of use it and then I just blend it on my under eye up here a little bit on my nose and like down here blend it in with the same brush and it literally made my makeup a lot better and a lot easier so I love this brush and I can't wait to get another one because it's so bomb and then I have the Farah Stripling 40 FM foundation brush it's every single foundation up my brushes like I use this every single day so good and I have to say my favorite thing about his brushes is that the handle is really gentle and the brush is really really soft and that's why I'm really being gentle with these kind of brushes because I don't want to ruin the brush I want to get more of these they're so good once you guys I get a brush holder kind of thing I'm gonna like separate all my brushes. I'm gonna put one as my power brushes, another one for my foundation brush, another one for like my blade brushes. So you're gonna see a lot of that. I'm gonna have one for like for my big brushes, another one for like my medium brushes, another one for my small brushes. Separate these ones as my separate little brush thingy for my nail filer. And then I also have my Farah, this is a blending brush, and then this little 
angle kind of brush. It's like one of the like lower brush you can use. Love this brush. And you guys, the gray part, literally, entire thing literally just mirrored off somehow. But it's really good. I have to say, it's a really good blending brush. It doesn't really fall out, eyeshadow or anything, but it's amazing and I really want to get more of these. And then this one is the <laughs> Tradius X Ipsy brush. I got this one in an Ipsy bag and I did not know I was going to get this like my second day. I haven't done Ipsy, you guys, in like a year and I love this brush. This is the only brush I got. If you guys ever got these in your box charm, please let me know because I really would love to put these and the Tritius x ones in box charm because this is a really, really good blame brush. And the other last two brushes I always have is my Wet n Wild Contour Brush. Love that brush. I have two of them right here. I have two of them. I got those. You can buy them at any drugstore. Also get them in your Ipsy, get them in your Boxy Charm, and you can also get them in the Dollar Tree. They have like, like really good brushes, but I don't have all the Wet n Wild stuff yet, but once you guys see all the makeup that I get in my box, I'm gonna do it on here to show you guys everything I got in my box, and then just go ahead and put it in my collection. And then this one is the Act Design Highlight Brush. I also got all these ones in Amazon. I really love this highlighter. Like, it's my favorite highlighter. I know a lot of people have favorite highlighter brushes, but this one is absolutely really, really nice. It's really soft, and I always clean my brushes with a soap bar better than the other products, like don't get me the wrong the brands, I love all the brands. It's really, really nice. It had just it blends the highlighter really, really pretty. And the other thing, you guys, I absolutely love these two products so much. Only two products I'm already using right now. So the one I have is the Garnet Skin Active Mist Cleansing Water. One humidifying we're making remove makeup, glorifies pores. No rinse, no scrubbing, face, lips, and eyes, only skin even sensitive, and no alcohol fragrance, and trauma test tested for safety. You guys also seen the vitamin C one. That's the one I actually used up in my other past in videos. I have this guy. It is so good to remove your makeup. Me, I don't ever use these cleansing waters as a toner. Sometimes I do, sometimes I do, but I really love this as a cleansing water because it removes my makeup a lot better. And then this one I also got in my FC offer a long time ago. This is a Pixie Skin Treats Glow Mist Sun spray. Love this. You can wear this alone. You can wear this under makeup. You can wear this before makeup. Oh, it smells really good. It kept my makeup really hydrating. You know, there's a lot of sun sprays out there I have not tried yet, but I really can't wait to do a do 10 of all my sun sprays. If you guys ever want to do that in the future, let me know in the comments down below because I would love to do that. Also, these sun sprays are really not that pricey. It's a really, really good affordable sun spray. And also, I'm already halfway through, but I will definitely add that sun spray in my empty. It's coming in through you, and then you will see the next sun spray on my desk because I'm gonna have a lot of new sun sprays in my box of charm. So every time I get new makeup in my box, I just like put everything in there, and then I will do a whole video. Hi right, guys, the other thing is my favorite, favorite mascara ever. Stella Bella Willows Inspire Beauty in Volume Extreme Mascara. The favorite thing about this mascara is that it has a really nice volume of your lashes. This is what the wand looks like. It's not too bad. It's not really, really pointy. If you ever need a really good mascara, I really recommend this one. What you guys want to know is that when you go through your mascaras, you have to use them every six months. Just they can dry out really fast as you actually use it. Once this guy runs out, I will definitely buy another one because I want to buy a full collection from this line. This is also the mascara I'm already using right now. Bobbi Brown Dirt Light Masque. The one I get so many compliments on. This is what the concealer pot 
looks like. It's a little messy, but I really love this pincier. It's really creamy. It's not like too, too bad. I really love it. And it really blends my makeup really well. And it helps my under eyes just like stay awake. And if you guys ever have wrinkles like that, this is a good one to cover it up. All right, so the other thing I am seeing, this is like also my favorite, favorite product. The 352C New Comfort from One Wild. The rest of the incense, mockle type of eyeshadow, it's really, really good. I just use this as a top coat for my makeup look and I get so many calls about that eyeshadow. And I really like using that as a topper. So if you guys ever want to get this kind of product, I highly recommend it. It's so good. These are very, very affordable. Oh my gosh, you guys, these are also my favorite product. But I'm very excited to go through these because when you guys see a whole bunch of stuff, I see a lot of amazing products in my upcoming ends videos. And I really love about doing these videos is that you guys can see how far I am with all these products. But don't worry, anytime you guys see any bronzers that if I picked out, or if I picked out a sun spray, powder, or anything like that, or a container of the foundation, then you'll see all that in my video. Because no matter how big or how small the product is, I still collect it in my is video. And once I have enough, then you'll see it in my video. Soon. So this is the Too Faced Mel Chocolate Salali Long Wear Me Bronzer. This is good. Oh my gosh. I have to say I'm very proud of myself. This so many times, but it used to be like really on top, but now it's already getting flat. It's Too Faced bronzer anymore because the reason why I decided not to do that because I want to use the actual product that goes with it, but it still smells like that milk chocolate type product. I really love that. It's so good. We try out more bronzers from Ofra and Too Faced and so many other brands. But when you guys see a lot of products in my bookstore, you're gonna see a lot of amazing stuff. But I can't wait to add this into my upcoming future empties. So make sure you guys stay tuned for this. And the other thing you guys I am using up is this Kirkland Searcher Daily Friendly Call Toilette. The 30 pack one. I already went through the rest of the other 15 pack ones already. It's already my it's already in my empties right now for October. So when you guys see my next ends video, you're gonna see a lot of old products. And I'm really trying to do, I'm not gonna rid of a whole bunch of stuff. I'm just trying to like get down a little bit so I can make more room for all the new medium palettes, my small palettes, and now we're gonna make fresh new makeup and everything in my care drawer. You'll definitely see a lot of new makeup wipes in my first video also. This guy, I am so excited to add this in the empties. The Hard Candy Translucent Sheer Annie Lewis Powder. This one is the 13 Ink 5. It says, the weightless translucent powder is suitable for all skin tones. It's a soft made finish, scent makeup wear, identify your skin, and minimize light reflection all at once. Apply powder over face and set your look troll oil. If you guys have oily type of skin, this is a really good powder. I've literally talked about this so many times in my various videos, my my travel bag collection, all that stuff. And I really love this powder. And I've really told so many people about this powder and they love it. All right, the other thing you guys I am using, still using right now, is the Rainbow London State Me Liquid Mousse Foundation. It's the 201 Classic Base Lightweight and Shining Control. Very excited to go through this. This is like the one I'm actually using first right now because whenever I go through my foundation, it's one. And then if I ever want to use another one to add more products and everything, I'll use the Maybelline New York Dream Stain Liquid Patient and Hydrating Serum. So if I feel like I don't want to use this one, then I can use this one. But I'm just like go back and forth. Also, like whatever which one I use, like this one runs out and I put it empty and then I go to this guy 
and I just rotate all my other foundations, but you will see a lot of new foundations in my makeup collection because these two are really, really good. Also, if I ever get any spray type of foundations, then you'll see in my upcoming Virgin MPs. All right, these are the three palettes I absolutely love. And my favorite thing about these is that it just blends. Like, I really love creating, like, have, like, three palettes. So if I want to do our mates one, then I can use one palette. I feel like I wanted to use like one of these shades of the Max Studio one, then I can do that. And I can actually mix it with this guy, then it will look really, really pretty. If I feel like I wanted to use the Marc Jacobs, the 800 Flame Point 8, then I could do that. Because there's a lot of different ways of palettes I can use just for to kind of like use up until if one of them ever runs out, I finish the empties. And then I don't actually add more new palettes until all three of them are actually gone. Then I'll, I will add more of them next. So this is what the color mates, the shades look like right now. It's not empty yet, but it's gonna get there really, really soon. If you guys ever wanna get this kind of palette from the Dark Tree, I highly recommend it. So if you guys ever thought about getting the Marc Jacobs ones too, they have this one in Busted Chara and NFC. I really want to try out all the Marc Jacobs palette, all his other brands and his holiday brand. There's a lot of other brands I have not tried yet, but I'm really glad I'm going through all these products first before I add more new stuff in my makeup collection. And then this is how far I am right now with this Marc Jacobs and Flame 100 Flame Boy E palette. Yeah, but it's kind of getting there. Now this one, I'm very excited to use up. The Max Studio eyeshadow palette. Now, the only one I have is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Last time I said I had like seven, I forgot. I really had like more. Really love this palette. I actually got this entire palette from Max. And I really want to go back to using Max. And if I ever find any more of these kind of palettes, I will totally do a full face of it. Now, the only thing you guys I have is my Tarte Thomas Smoothing Primer. I really love this primer. It's so good because I use the Maybelline and I mix it in here because I want to use just like, I just like to have all the one that it's actually getting close right now. If I have one of these squeezing tubes and they're like a little bit tiny left, I will add it to this guy and so that way I can make it easier just to use up. It's a good way to save your product. Make sure you actually squeeze every last bit of it so that way you can put it into your pot. If like your pot is actually right out, then you can put all the rest of it and that way you can save the container that you have. But don't worry you guys, I will have a lot more really lot new makeup in my end videos and also in my Project Japan and other videos also in the future. So these are the last two pies I'm gonna show you guys. So you guys know I'm still working on this Too Faced Ray of Light highlighter. I bought this one on Amazon. So that's what the color looks like. It's right there. It's so pretty. If you guys have fair skin like me, then this is a perfect highlighter for you. Really, really pretty. Oh my gosh, this is like a perfect shade for me. I really want to try out more Too Faced. I'm trying to do this. I'm trying to go through all my blushes and highlighters that I've had for so long. That way I can add them to the MDs and try out more new stuff. So you guys know that I was saying I'm getting close of running out. I had to fill it up again into my other prop one because I want to just get those out of my collection. We filled up again. <laughs> So I had to put all the rest of the other color pop. The reason why I did that is because I just want to get those like out of the way. I don't. I don't really like. I, I really do love color pop. I really just want to put it in here so that way I can let my blush and I can add it all the rest of the other blushes I had into my end video. Don't worry. I will still be getting more updates about this. Laura Paris True Matte Stupid Blush. The C34. Ten of rose. All right, so the other three last products, you guys, I have is this LA Color Shine Lip Gloss called 
lash. I'm so happy I have one more of these kind of lip glosses. This is the only one we're using right now. There's still a, little, a lot of product in here, but keep scraping this until it's already cleaned out, and then I'll put this guy in my empties. This is a really, really pretty color. Look at that. This is like a perfect like Christmas kind of color, don't you guys think? All right guys, these are the only two lipsticks I'm already using right now. The one, I definitely want to get another one, but you will see this guy in my next end video. I am so excited. This is the New York City 45 Blue Rose. Let me know in the comments if you guys, they still have these New York City lipsticks in Target. Let me know in the comments. I really, really love to know because I want to buy a full face of these lipsticks and I really want to try out more of these. So that is how much this one has left. I'll definitely scrape it out and I'll definitely put this guy in my next empties. And then you guys will see this guy in empties too. The Maybelline 580 Plum Sparkle. So this one still has a lot, but I've added so many of these different colors in this lipstick. So you guys want to know my mom gave me this lipstick, but it's so pretty. It's like a little diamond on the front, which is so pretty. Anyway guys, that is all the products that I absolutely love for this month. If you absolutely want to see more of these, then make sure you guys hit the thumbs up so I'll let you know if you guys absolutely love these. Love you guys. Just comment down below other new videos that you guys absolutely want to see next. Do some really fun challenges. I could definitely do that because I'm going to do a next coming challenge soon. Make sure you guys stay tuned. But also, don't forget to subscribe button before you guys leave and make sure you guys also ring that bell so that way you guys get notified every time I post new videos, but make sure you guys click all. So that way once you click notifications, then you want to hit the notification again, but make sure you want to click all. So comment down below, you guys subscribe and turn on that bell. And because sometimes like I don't know if sometimes like this whole thing on YouTube, like I don't know if people are already subscribed or unsubscribe because I just don't know. But ever, if you guys ever unsubscribe, I would love if you guys subscribe back again so I know if you guys already subscribed. Thank you guys all so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.